It's a beautiful Bye. night Hello. I see the skyline where dreams come alive Don't need you by my side Gonna hit the city with my ride or die Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel I haven't done a sit down video in literally forever I can't remember the last time Hello Um, so I thought, as soon as it's a new year and everything Um, so basically tonight I'm going out for my friend Jess's birthday Um and I'm going out for a, birth a birthday meal with my family as well so I thought I really want a proper dress up because I've not dressed up in probably ages and I've got loads of pretty dresses so I thought I would do a makeup and start the new year with a little catch up so I've asked on Instagram loads of questions and I've actually got some really really good ones so I will be answering these I thought I'd chat, do my makeup and then I'll show you the final look at the end it's about 20 past 4, 10 past 4? Yeah, nearly 10 past 4, I'm drinking a coffee I just have a chilled makeup. I got to be at the meal for six, so I've got about two hours to get ready. We should be fine. Um, so I'm gonna get my makeup now and then start. Right, so I've got all my stuff set out in front of me now. Um, and I... I'm gonna do my skin quickly. I just um, did a face mask and... Oh, what have you done? Um, this is my mirror, by the way, so it will just have to stay there. Um, is it back? Yeah. So yeah, so I've got some good questions. Um, I've got all my stuff laid out, so I'm going to give it a skin coat because my face feels really dry, I just did a face mask. Um, so the first question, I've got quite a few actually, they're actually really good questions, um, some that I haven't answered before, which is interesting. Um, my first question is, what made you start YouTube? Um, I think I've always wanted to do it. Um, I'm quite a creative person and something I'm definitely, definitely interested in is just having the confidence. And then when it was locked down and everything in 2020, I had nothing else to do and I thought, do you know what? Harley was doing amazing at her channel and I thought, do you know what? If she can do it, then I can do it. And do you know what? It's the best thing ever. It's just like so much fun and it just gave me that creative outlet that I was looking for. Because otherwise I was just working and I had no hobby and it just gave me a nice little hobby. Is that too bright? It was fine. Um, so yeah. That's what made me start it pretty much. Um, always wanting to do it and Tali gave me that little extra push because yeah. we had a FaceTime one not one night and she just we had a final conversation about it. And yeah, gave me that push to do it, which is nice. Um next question is quite a good one, is how do you find the time to edit your videos? Um <laughs> yeah, I don't. Um that's quite tricky actually and one that I actually want to talk to you about anyway because um throughout December I found it really really hard like a really hard work oh, this is very shiny isn't it really hard work to edit videos um so I work full time um literally at the house 12 hours a day only have weekends off only have evenings free um I get home at half seven at night and at the minute I'm doing a college course so my main priority at the minute has been trying to get that done so YouTube and Instagram like have taken a little bit of backseat and before Christmas um, I really want to do those crispy content and crap get into it but with my college course I, I wanted to try to finish basically half of it before then and I wanted to try and get as much done before Christmas so I can have a nice time at Christmas and relax with my family um, so I just thought you know what don't put pressure on yourself and just chill start again in the new year um, I did a few vlogs here and there but it was just editing them I lost a bit of motivation with that. So, I have got a MacBook now and I am finding that so much easier and nicer to edit on. Um, the other one was just takes, took too long, it was hours out of my day. Whereas this one, I can edit so quickly on it. Um, so I don't, I don't really have a routine with editing. Um, I should, but I don't. Um, whatever works best at the minute. Um, but at the minute, I'm for a new year, I'm going to try and get more of a routine and get it better. Cause I do miss it but um yeah I just try and edit when I can in the evenings try and like do an hour or two of coursework and then try and edit or, like half one night of coursework and do editing then but yeah I don't know luckily I enjoy editing so it's not like a big deal um right I think I was done um another question is how have you been um I think I'm okay it's just been busy like it's for me because I work in retail December's always mental um and I always get so overworked in December and I'm always really tired and like 
we're the busiest we are in December so that on top of doing that and coursework in the evenings and trying to be festive I think so by the time Christmas comes I'm just tired but I'm, I feel okay now I feel really really positive about this year um I really feel positive I'm gonna there's loads of goals that's another question a bit I'll answer that in a minute tell you what my goals are but um I want to try and achieve loads of my goals and just be happy and try and live a little bit and yeah it's a very exciting year ahead but yeah I feel okay I feel positive um I'm looking forward to the year ahead to be honest I'm very looking forward to it uh, and yeah the next question is what are your goals for 2022 um I have actually written a list somewhere over by my Vesta table um because I never usually write them down but I thought do you know what write them down um right what am I doing I need to think about what I'm actually doing here with my eyes because I've not thought about my eyes at all I want to go for like bronzy I think so I've got like a black dress to wear and it's quite plain and it's quite sparkly so I don't want too much on the eyes um so yeah my goals for 2022 is I want to finish my course that's the main one let's get this mirror a bit of a wipe because it's a bit a bit dirty um yeah so my goal my main goal was to finish my course and that means I will be able to get a job in childcare which is very very exciting um that is the main goal of the year other goals another goal of mine is I want to cook more I want to learn new recipes so for Christmas everybody got me a um loads of recipe books which is exciting so I can start cooking um you know I want to bake more and do cooking like adult like proper cooking homemade cooking personal wise um I want to get engaged this year oh my god I know that's not like it should be my goal but it is um We've been juggling together for a long time now and I feel like it's going to happen this year. I'm very, very excited. Um, so that's a goal of the year because why not? Um, what else I do with my eyes? And that's it pretty much. Just like take more time for me, I think. That's like the main thing. I don't want to do the whole like... I hate... If, I hate when I set goals like I'll lose weight and all that because it's just like not... It could be practical but it's just not like and I don't want to get like thing on myself so I just feel like practical goals little goals to set throughout the year that I can achieve is more achievable um so yeah I am very excited to try and get these goals achieved throughout the year um another one is any travel plans for this year um yes I haven't actually booked anything yet, but me and the girls, me, Tyler and Liv, really want to go away together. Like a proper girls holiday. We've never done it before and I just want it. It's going to happen. I want it to happen so badly. Like this is the year I want that to happen. That's another goal of the year. Girls holiday is a must. I don't care if nothing else happens. That's what I want to do this year. Yeah, so girls holiday is definitely going to happen. Oh, look what I got in my glossy box. I'm going to put this on, I think. Let's have a look at what colours I've got in here. Um... Yes, yeah, so girls' holidays are definite, definite yes. Oh my god, look at the colours. That's pretty. Um, apart from that, I've not got any other like official like travel like abroad plans as such. I'm not bothered if anything else happens. Um, it would be lovely to go away with Jack, but w another goal of ours this year is to start saving to my house. So realistically, I don't want to be going abroad every month you know don't get crazy with it i do want to do loads of staycations though because i really enjoy like weekends away i think me and jack want to try and plan one soon in like a little cabin sort of thing um just me and him which would be nice we've never done that before that's cute i'm happy with my eyeshadow um so yeah we're gonna do that um what else have i got another question says where are you from now, I think I might have answered this before, but I'm going to answer it again. Um, so I live in Cornwall, and I'm from Cornwall, but I haven't just brought, been brought up in Cornwall. It's very confusing. Um, long story short is, my dad was in the RAF. They had me in Cornwall, um, and then we moved away as a family to Germany, which I lived for years, a few, few years in Germany. Then we moved again, had my brother there, and then we moved again to Birmingham. 
lived there for a few months and then we moved to Norwich lived there for quite a few years had school there and everything and then moved back to Cornwall when I was seven so I was born here but literally within like a couple of months I was moved away to, moved away to Germany so yeah um yeah so from Cornwall but yeah not really kind of a bit all over the place but I love it here it's I absolutely love it Cornwall it's so nice to live here right Let's have another question. I think I'm flying through these. Um, this is a good one. Um, would you ever go vegan or try out vegan? Um, I would definitely try it out. I don't know if 100%... I am here. Right, I'm back in the room with just some eyeliner. Um, I need to concentrate on that because I've not done makeup in ages. So, the question was, if would you ever go vegan? Um, I'd try it. Definitely try it. Um... We have tried vegetarian before, um, like lockdown 2020, um, we went for a few vegetarian, just like meat free options, and do you know what, there are loads of like really really nice meat free options which I would choose to go, like I think that's what I'd do, I'd, I don't think I could go completely full on vegan, especially at the minute because I actually live with Jack and his mum, and I feel like it would be a lot more difficult to go vegan and obviously have to buy my own food and it, you know it wouldn't be fair to make them do it as well um and obviously i get home at literally like half seven every night and i just think like she usually just cooks dinner for everyone and it's just like it'd be awkward if what but we do have meat free options sometimes um like yeah we experimented lots in thinking i would go maybe like a couple of days out of the week vegan i think i think i don't know I would never be completely against it and I do like meat and I like cheese a lot um, but I wouldn't be against doing a couple of days a week or trying alternatives because I think there are really nice alternatives out there um, and if I can find an alternative that I like just as much then why would I not just have it meat free um, so yeah I just don't know I don't know if I could fully go I'd never say never but it's not something I've considered but it's elements of it that I've considered so yeah I do think that's something definitely like this year we're doing more cooking and stuff anyway I can start and cook there's like a vegetarian vegan menu like, book I've got anyway so I can start doing more recipes like that anyway so yeah I definitely think I would be open to the idea of exploring that more but it's not something I'm like dead set on doing currently if you get what I mean um somebody else asked any updates about you working in childcare so not really at the minute um I'm still doing my course um that's still continuing I will be finished with that this year um I've done half of it I'm all like, I'm halfway through my first assignment then I've got another half to do and then one more assignment and then I completed it so I want to get that done before the summer um so then I can either finish the summer at Pramac and then oh my god my skin is awful um finish the summer at Pramac and then get a new job in September or um yeah it depends what comes up really I'm open for anything I will jump at any chance that comes with childcare once I finish my course um I'm just really, really looking forward to a new venture, a new start and all that. Um, and the next question actually after that is, are you still working at Primark? And yes, I am. I've been there four years. And to be fair, I absolutely love it. Um, if it was one of those jobs I could see myself working up the ladder with, I probably would stick with it. But I just don't really see that currently happening. So I um, need more of a career than a job. Um, especially if me and Jack want to buy a house and everything. So yeah, I am at work Primark and I absolutely love it. Um, I just, I'm really ready for like a new adventure now. I've been there four years and I'm very excited to start my career. Um, next job, you know, next job. Am I right? Um, next question is, where are you off to this weekend? So I am going out for Jess's birthday. Um, my first of all, it's my granddad's birthday too today as well. And I'm off for a family meal with him my whole family and Jack and everyone's coming which will be really nice and Ryan um, and then we are going out in town after that 
Jack's coming, that would be really nice. My skin's awful at the minute. Um, beautiful. Just so dry and horrible. Um, lovely. Some of that on there. Yeah, so we're going up to town for a few drinks. Some other cheeky cocktail. I'm quite looking forward to it if you have. I've not been down for ages. So, yeah, we're just going out into Nuki, which is the town whereabouts I live. Um, for a few drinks and some nice dinner which i'm very very excited about i'm sure if you follow me on instagram you would have seen pictures and videos somebody else put what is your favorite thing about being a youtuber um i really enjoy the creative side of it and to be honest another thing i really enjoy is like making new friends um you meet a lot of lovely don't get wrong you meet a lot of horrible mm. for me personally i meet more lovely people than horrible people um so i think that's a really nice positive just a nice little community of people that all like the same thing as you which is nice because sometimes a lot of people don't understand it so it's nice online to actually like have that um it's taking me forever to get to ready um yeah i really really enjoy editing i like doing uh, do you know what i love vlogs so much um vlogs don't tend to do as well number wise as like other videos um but i personally actually love filming them and editing them um so yeah, I love you too. Um, it's just exciting. I'm nearly at 500 subscribers actually. I'm so, so close. I'm so excited. Um, the numbers keep just going up and down. It's just like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm nearly there. What am I doing now? Bronzer. I want to do a bit of contouring, you know? Let's do a bit of contouring. Look at the state of that. Primark it's finest. Um, Another thing I like about YouTube is I like creating memories. I'm really, really creative and I like the fact that I can capture memories. Like, I'm obsessed with photos, like, honestly, and, like, videos. You should see, like, you ask any of my friends and I've literally got all the photos from, like, 10 years of friendship. Andy or whatever her name is on here. Who? The dog. Mandy's dog. Mandy and Chris are up there. Mandy and Chris? Yeah, we had a few videos with them. Did you? Yeah. Are they looking forward to later? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maddie was there like, don't be late to my money. Did you say that? Yeah, it's a joke. Not like oh. <laughs> That's nice. So, the next question, which is actually quite a cute one, is when was your first date with Jack? And she put, you two are so cute. That is so cute. Um, I had to show that one to Jack because he doesn't like all this. Um, and I thought it'd be cute to let him know that someone thinks we're cute. So, my and Jack's first date um, was a very, very long time ago now and we met up and went for a little walk around the town we live in and we then went to the cinema we were only 16 17 so um yeah we just went to the cinema had a lovely time i can't remember what the movie was it wasn't very good but then afterwards i said i was gonna walk home and jack said like, you're not walking home on your own i'll walk you back to your house and was a proper gent about it Bless him. And yeah, it was really cute. That's all there is to that. Just a simple cinema first date. It was quite nice though because nobody was in the cinema apart from us. So we just had the whole cinema to ourselves to so just chat and yeah, it was very cute. But at that age we don't really like, we wouldn't have gone out for drinks and all that because it's just not really, we wouldn't have been allowed for no, I'm glad we had that as our first date. It's quite cute and like innocent in our age. Um, yeah. Then it's I got a question saying, where do you want to go on holiday next? Um, I really want to go to Greece with the girls. That is the main goal of the year. I just want to go to Greece with the girls and drink cocktails. Um, yeah. So that's the next holiday I want to go on is with the girls um, in Greece. Um, I'm not going to put lashes on tonight because do you know what? I actually can't bother for lashes. Um, I know a lot of people will love them and I just can't bother. So I'm just going to comb our lashes and this mascara I'm using at the minute is amusing. So I can make my lashes look amazing with them. Um, so the next question is where do you see yourself in five years time? How old am I now? 23. 28 years old oh my god um 
do you know what these questions five years later the answers are scarier the older i get um because i was younger it'd be like do this do that and now it's like actually doing more adult things um five years time hopefully own a house that's the goal yeah we're living in my own house married um yeah this mascara is amazing um yeah so yeah I'll probably be in five years time realistically married with a house oh my god that's so scary um hopefully in a job that i love maybe even thinking about having kids oh my god that's horrible how did i get so old right one of the questions right was where where, where would, do you see yourself for five years time just divorced <sighs> Just divorce if you keep dragging me away from V for love. I won't be allowed to. But I like, still love you, but no, but no, but generally, five years time, twenty eight. How scary. Boyfriend girlfriend. Boyfriend girlfriend. Yeah, boyfriend girlfriend. Just good friends. Just friends. Just friends. Just best friends. <laughs> oh, scary. Very very scary. Right, I've got two more questions. Social media at the minute. Um, I I don't know. I I follow quite a lot of have a lot of positive um content. So. That helps. It's just weird at the minute. Oh, I can't speak when doing this. Um, it is a bit weird at the minute. Um, but I try and follow positive accounts, so my feeds a bit more positive, so I feel a bit more better about it. There's a lot going on. Um, right, I am gonna. The last comment actually was quite easy. The last question, sorry, um, is when do you want children? Probably not for another like five, six years. I want to be married and bought my house first, just so I'm settled. Um, yeah, probably not to like late twenties, which is quite unlike what I thought I'd pick. I thought I'd be like early twenties, but no, thanks. I'm not ready for children right now. Um, I'm gonna give you my hair out and put my outfit on, and then I come back to show the final result. I'm so excited. Hi everyone, um, me again. I also thought at the end of the video. Um, because I was in a big rush trying to get ready and get out and do my hair and everything. Um, I'll insert some pictures here and here of my outfit and everything and my makeup because I can't believe you've got the end result with my hair and everything and makeup and dress. So yeah, I had a really, really good evening, but yeah, it was just a bit of a rush. I can't believe you've got to show you. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, then I'd love you to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>